If you're dealing with hundreds or even thousands of images on a daily basis, rather than spending time manually cropping them to focus on the most interesting part, you can automate smart cropping and let AI do all the hard work. Cloudinary lets you dynamically crop images with simple URL parameters, so you can work out the perfect crop for each individual image. But when cropping images at scale, finding those parameters manually for every image isn't practical. That's why many people choose to crop their images automatically. However, when cropping images automatically and at scale, you won't know what's in each image, so keeping the centre of images isn't always the best thing to do. What you want to do is focus on the most interesting part of the image, and you can do this by setting the gravity parameter when cropping images. There are various options for gravity, but the best one to use for maximum automation is automatic gravity. While gravity allows us to easily target our subject, it doesn't help us set an ideal crop by itself. There are many different cropping methods which crop images in different ways. The fill cropping mode can work well for many images, but if you really want to hone in on a subject, then the thumb cropping mode may be better. This can be a bit too aggressive though. Instead, we can let AI help us and use the automatic cropping mode, which focuses on the subject without losing the context. Once you've installed the URL gen package and configured Cloudinary for your product environment in your JavaScript app, you can import auto from Cloudinary URL gen actions resize and auto gravity from Cloudinary URL gen qualifiers gravity. Then you can use the automatic resize function on your image instance specifying the width and height, or an aspect ratio, and setting the gravity to auto. With web design, you'll typically have a defined size for your image. Let's focus on this golfer in landscape mode. With the fill cropping mode, a lot of the scenery is kept in the image, because the original image is also landscape, so there's little cropping involved. With automatic cropping, you get a much tighter crop on the golfer. Sometimes the display dimensions may not produce the best crop for your images. In these cases, it may be better to use automatic cropping with padding. This time, just import auto pad and use this mode on your image. You can set the color of the padding explicitly by importing color from qualifiers background and using a named or hex color. Or you can let Cloudinary choose the color of the padding automatically based on the contents of the image. In this case, import auto. Though we already have a function called auto imported, so let's give this a different name. And we can use this instead of the colour. Now we can see each of the images has a different colour padding. Next up, learn how to make your images accessible to colourblind people.